Hi, and welcome to Senior Shape with Lauren. Today's video is all for thoracic spine health. We're trying to avoid the dreaded dowager hump, as it was traditionally called, as um, we age, the elderly would kind of you know, get more and more hunched forward. So we're gonna to try to counteract that using scapular retraction and really stretching out that thoracic spine, pulling the shoulders down and back. This is so important for anybody at any age and at any skill level. Again, this is a great workout to do after maybe a nice brisk walk, just to make sure that your muscles are nice and warm. It's not strength training and it's not cardio, but I can't um, enforce enough um, how important this is for the health of your uh, thoracic spine. So we're gonna do um, have this workout on the mat laying down. You will need a light weight, just one, two, or three pounds. And then the second half of the workout will be in a standing position. Let's go ahead and get started. Only exercise here on our hands and knees, starting with a cat cow, making sure the knees are lined up underneath the hips and wrists are underneath our shoulders. Keeping your head in line, just looking a foot or two in front of you. We're gonna lift our chin, sway our hips back here, drop the chin, pull the belly button up to the spine, rounding that back like a cat. Exhale as our chin comes up, hips back, and then all the way back up again, nice and slow, making these as big as you can. Chin up, hips back. Tuck the chin, belly button in round. And up. Find a nice tempo here. And just for a heads up, we've got 10 reps of everything today. And that's sometimes some people like to be prepared. So just one set, the 10 reps of everything. A few more here. Belly button in, really round it. And lift. Last one. Round it up. Okay, staying back here on our all fours. Putting a little bit more weight on the hand that's um, towards the back of your room, away from me. And then I want you to tuck your fingertips kind of behind your head right here. And what we're gonna do is lift that elbow, twisting up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna come back down in line with our mat here. So we lift up. You may feel not feel like you're going very far. Everyone's gonna be different on their range of motion here making sure our belly button is pulled in. Now, if you are feeling this in your lower back, I wanna show you a quick modification. You're gonna sit back, bum to your heels, and you can do it this way. That takes some of the pressure off the lower back. If not, come on back up for four, lift, three, two, Elbow up, nice twist here. Last one, and reach. Good job, other side. I'm gonna twist around just so you guys can see. You can stay right where you're at. Making sure that you're switching sides, fingertips behind the head here. Elbow up, and bring it back down. To the ceiling, and down. Come in. You might notice that you have greater range on one side than the other, and that's totally normal. We've got five more. Make sure you're breathing. And belly button is pulled into the spine. For three. and one I want you to relax sit back in a child's pose bum comes back down on the heels reach those arms forward you can rest your forehead on the mat if you like reach those arms forward and relax take a couple nice deep breaths here inhale and let's lift ourselves back up 
And we're gonna come to a sideline position and grab your weight if you don't have it ready handy. We're gonna come all the way down here. Go ahead and rest your head, supporting with your hand. Our knees are bent, and then our hips are all lined up here. Holding on to your weight, I want you to glue your elbow kind of right around there on your hip bone. What we're gonna do is lift that weight, 90 degree angle, up towards the ceiling, and then tap it back down here. So you should feel this in the back of the arm, back of that shoulder, upper back, and rotator cuff. Really important not to use a heavy weight here. Again, this is not weight training. We're trying to work on our range of motion here. And left. Good, making sure that we keep our spine stable and straight so we're not wobbling around. We've got four. Three. Two. And one, nice job. I'm gonna switch around, do that on the other side. Again, support your head. Making sure our spine is lined up. Knees are tucked in slightly. Elbows on top of that hip bone, palm is facing out. We drop it, tap it to the mat, and lift it straight back up. Again, keeping about a 90 degree angle with that elbow. So good. Make sure you're breathing and lift, tap and lift. We're halfway there for five and four, three. I know you're feeling this in the back of that arm. Two and one. So good. Go ahead and move your weight out of the way for now. We're gonna come on to our backs, making sure you've got enough room around you. Most important thing here for that thoracic spine health is to make sure that our spine is completely aligned and pressed into the mat. So I don't want any space right here. We're gonna knit those ribs together and push that lower spine, that lower back into the floor while we draw the belly button in. And we've gotta hold it here. This is your challenge the whole time. Knees are bent. And we're gonna take our arms down to the sides, palms up, and trying to keep our forearms on the floor the whole time, or the tops of our arms, we're gonna lift our hands all the way up, and then bring them all the way back down. Okay, but did you forget about your spine? Tuck it in. It's almost like a little mini pelvic tuck. You're breathing here, nice big movements. Palms facing up. It's okay if the tops of your arms don't reach the floor. So depending on your flexibility in your chest, they might be hovering up here and that's okay. But again, tuck your hips, pressing the spine into the floor. You should feel your spine lengthening and stretching. I feel this in the front of my shoulders a lot. All good things. A few more here. We've got three. Pull that belly button in for two. And one. Hold your hands here over the head and then widen your arms just a little bit to like a V position. And then I want you to bend your elbows Bring them close to your sides, keeping them bent. Keep them bent at a 90 degree angle. Then bring them straightening back out to a Y position. Again, check that spine. Is it pressed into the mat? Bend the elbows, making a W here. And reach back up, making it nice and long. Good. Push the spine into the mat. Belly button is tucked in. Back to the Y. 
Oh, this feels so good. It'll be so good for our posture. Way too much time spent lately in front of our computers and on our phones, hunched over. This is also great stretches and exercises to do before bed. Really lengthening everything out. Two more, back to a Y. Reach, tummy in to our W. And back up, again, trying to keep those forearms on the floor, but it's okay if they're not there yet. And back to our W. Reach them all the way up overhead, give them a big stretch, go ahead and lengthen those legs. Stretching the fingertips and the toes apart from each other, go ahead and relax that spine. Bring the knees back up, tuck them in, and we're gonna come back up to a seated position, and then I'm gonna meet you back up with our hand weight um, in a standing position. Okay, we're up off the floor, standing. Nice and tall, roll those shoulders back, tummies in, little bend in the knees with the feet shoulder width apart. Let's put our left hand on our hip, weight is in your right hand, and we're gonna draw it all the way up here to the corner, and then across the, uh, yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're up off the floor. You have your light hand weight. Standing up nice and tall, roll those shoulders down and back. Left hand is on your hip and weight is in your right hand. This is called a sword draw. We're gonna cross that over like we're grabbing a sword here out of its sheath. Straight elbow, we pull it all the way up, making a V here. And we cross and lift. Again, little bend in the knees, tighten the core. And like I said earlier, we've got 10. Keeping a nice light weight. Again, we're not lifting here. We're not weight lifting. We're working on that shoulder mobility and strength. Good, you should feel that all sides of the shoulder and your upper back. And left, four more. For three. Two. Last one, reach. Nice job, let's switch sides, weight in the other hand. Again, recheck that posture, bend in the knees, grab your sword, and lift it up. Elbow is mostly straight here, as straight as you can get it. Keep your core nice and tight. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling the core from that floor work. It's an added bonus. And left. Halfway there for five. Four, if this is too heavy, too much, anytime you can always drop the weight. Two, squeeze that upper back. Last one, and lift, release. Next move, we're gonna take the weight in both hands, holding onto the sides here. These are called halos. We're gonna take it up over our head, and the goal here is to kind of wrap it around in a little circle. We're making a halo. So we're gonna do 10 one side, 10 the other. All the way back behind the head and bring it forward. Now everyone has different ranges of motion here. You do you. Again, Tommy in. Little bend in those knees. Try to make it as big as you can. And around for three, two. Little break, release it down, roll the shoulders. Okay, let's go back the other way. Same thing, 10 times all the way around. Circling around the head. Plant your feet, tummies are in, and a little bend in your knees. Almost think about a little pelvic tuck to make sure you don't have a sway in the back. Nice, almost there. 
Stay with me here for four, three, two, last one. Go ahead and drop your weight off to the side. What we're gonna do next is that I want you to find um, either a mantle or I'm gonna come to my wall here or even a corner where two walls meet is a perfect um, spot to do push-ups. So easy peasy, great for what we're working on, thoracic spine. Okay, find your wall or your sturdy mantle and take a nice big step back. Hands are gonna be placed on that wall a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Then I want you to come onto your tippy toes. Our body is going to stay nice and straight like a plank position. We're going to lower our chest with our elbows going out towards that wall and then push it back up. Again, the goal here, because we're working on that thoracic spine, is to feel that stretch and getting that chest and the elbows, the chest low and the elbows behind us. And push. Good. Lower and push. Now the further that you step your feet away from the wall, the more difficult it makes it. All right, I promised only 10 of each. Three more. Elbows out and push. Good, getting that chest as close as you can. Tommies are in. Last one. Push it back. Now we're gonna do a half wall hang to stretch that out. Keeping the feet, drop your heels to the floor. Lower the arms a bit, keeping your elbows straight, tummies in and shift your hips back. You should feel beautiful stretch all the way up the back of your legs. What I want you to focus on is dropping your chest as low as you can. Hold that there, breathe into the stretch. Give me a big inhale. Exhale, again, straighten the arms and see if you can lower your chest one more inch. Hold it there. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Move your hands to your legs. Round that spine up and standing up nice and tall. We've got a few more stretches and then we're all done. Come back to your spot from your wall where you were doing the push-ups. Standing up nice and tall, roll those shoulders nice and big, all the way up and back. I always like to do shoulder rolls to the back, never to the forward, because that's what we're trying to do here, is to counteract that forward shoulder roll in the hump in the thoracic spine. For three, two, and one. Tuck your hips and drop your chin to your chest. Just let your head hang and then slowly shake your head no with your chin dropped left to right, feeling a nice stretch on the sides of your neck. Good, come back to center, lift the head back to center, and this time with our chin lifted here, look over your right shoulder. Back to center, other side, look all the way over the shoulder. and back to center. I wanna do a quick exercise with you to show you guys how important this is. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see, and I want you to lift your arm as you're hunched over for people that have you know, these issues, which can be corrected with these exercises. And if I'm hunched over and lifting my arm, this is only as high as I can get. So as we correct, I can then lift my arm all the way back, having a beautiful range of motion in that arm. So that's just one example to show you how important it is to work on our uh, thoracic spine mobility. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would love to hear your um, questions in, in the comments. Again, I can't enforce enough how important this is to do. Check out my other videos, totally different. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel uh, to see again all, all the great new videos that I'm offering. We'll see you next time.